Hey everyone, Aaron and Kim here again. And guys, we're on day 11 of our Christmas devotional series, Hope for the Holidays. And day 11 means it's Christmas Eve. So guys, tomorrow we're going to be waking up early, going to church, celebrating uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior. And we're going to have fun doing it. Amen. I hope that you all are excited to wake up early. Wipe that eye, wipe the ampere out of your eye, and just get up, stretch, and let's go straight to church. Church has to be the best part of tomorrow. Better than the ham and better than the gifts and all these things. Going to church in the morning has to be the most refreshing thing for us as Christians, yeah? Sure. So guys, we're going to jump straight into our devotional series, our second to last one. We've had such a good time with you all so far, but we're going to jump straight into it. And this week, we have been talking about so many different people, uh, Herod and the shepherds and the wise men and so on. So we thought, hey, there's a particular group of not people, but a particular group of things that was present in that Christmas story and we hardly speak about it. And they had such a big, humongous role to play in the Christmas story. Can anyone guess who, what uh, what we are going to talk about this week? Any guesses? Don't say it. I'll try okay guys, let's give you all a hint. We have a little friend and this has become her favorite song for the entire Christmas season. And I heard us singing this and I want to say singing. <laughs> I heard us singing this and this thing has been stuck in my head. So guys, we want to turn over to our little friend and she's going to do a song for you all. And I think by the end of that song, you all are going to know who we are or what we are going to speak about today. So over to our friend. Oh, what a special night. Baby Jesus is born. She was here that day. of Christmas. What really is the animals of Christmas? So we're going to jump straight into it and see what lesson we can learn from the animals. Because I want to tell you all today, I want you all to be like the animals. Be like those Christmas animals. Be like that donkey and that cow and that uh, sheep. Going bear. <laughs> I want you all to be like the animals. Because look at what the animals did. First of all, the first thing we saw that the animals did, before any human being did this thing, you know what the animals did? The animals welcomed Christ into their home. Imagine that. Imagine Mary and Joseph is there going to, from inn to inn, from house to house, begging, hey, can I have place in your inn? Hey, do you have place for my wife? She's about to make child. And no human being had a place for them. But you want to know who made room for them? The animals. The animals made room for baby Jesus to be born. And I want to encourage you all today. First, 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 first thing. 
welcome Jesus Christ into your home. Maybe you think, hey, things are a bit messy right now. Hey, things are not right right now. I want you all to know today that life doesn't have to be perfect before you let Jesus in. Let Jesus in and then your life will become perfect. Because it's Christ who makes us perfect. We can't make ourselves perfect. Christ makes us perfect. And I want you all to just be like that animal today. Be like those animals, those cows and those horses and whatever it had. Yeah? Welcome Jesus Christ. And the amazing thing is just imagine baby Jesus entering this world. And the first set of noises that baby Jesus heard was... Bah, and moo. I yeah. guess it was a silent night. It really might, yeah. I guess it wasn't a silent night for Jesus at least. You know, and you know, these animals welcome Jesus Christ into this world. You know, while the humans were out there busy with the taxing and busy with making money around that time that Jesus was, was born, the animals welcome him humbly into the world. And when all of humanity missed that, except for the shepherds, wise men, of course, um, his, his mom and dad, um, the animals, the animals worship Christ. And you know, today I want to challenge you all welcome Christ into your home. So, the animals welcomed Christ. The second thing that we saw about the animals in the Christmas story was they carried Christ. So not only did they welcome Christ, they carried Christ. Might be asking, hey, what do you mean by they carried Christ? How is it you think Mary came to Bethlehem? On a donkey. On a donkey. She came, we always played that in the play. She came riding on a donkey. They had no cars in those days. And so this donkey, which we laugh at, which we make jokes about, your big donkey, and this, that, all kind of different things, you know? These animals, this donkey in particular, was actually the, 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 the animal used to carry Jesus on so many different occasions. Don well, I guess it was the donkey that carried him um, into Bethlehem, maybe to Egypt. I don't know what Joseph used to go to Egypt when Jesus was grown. And he went, um, that when he came into Jerusalem, he came traveling on a donkey as well. And animals carried Christ. And what's our take-home point from that? Guys, I want you all to know today that just like the animals, we must carry Christ. Wherever we go, we must carry Christ. We mustn't just have Christ with us when we come on a Sunday morning and we clap and we sing no in our work, in our school, in our homes. We must carry Christ everywhere that we go. Christ must always be on top of us, always be below us, always be right around us. And everywhere we go, people might must look at us and say, hey, that guy, he, 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 he yeah, he's carrying Christ there. I'm seeing Christ in him and with him, yeah? That person. So guys, I want to encourage you all today. Don't only be like the animals who welcome Christ into your home and just keep him home alone. Carry him wherever you go. Yeah? And lastly, so the animals, they welcomed Christ, they carried Christ. But you know what's the most amazing thing about these animals that we miss out? What other animals that did we have in the Christmas story, Sister Kim? Well, sheep. Sheep. Camel. Camel. Yeah, that's it. So right here, we see the wise men and we see they're coming on camels. And the amazing thing, sometimes we miss that, that they, more than likely, they came coming on camels. And these camels, they brought people to Christ. So not only did animals in the Christmas story welcome Christ, they, they carried Christ, so they welcomed Christ, they carried Christ, and they brought people to Christ. And I want you all to, to be challenged today, that be like the animals, bring people to Christ. These wise men, they, they, they travel for two years. Them camels maybe get tired carrying them, but they finish the job. And I know some of us today, you know, we have been trying and we have been trying to share the love and the good news um, of Jesus Christ to people, you know, for years now. You know, and maybe you might say, boy, die them. Forget about that. I want you all to stick with those people. Carry them to Christ. If it takes a year, if it takes two years, you try and you endure and you take that burden to bring people to Christ because that's what we are called for. We are called to represent and to present Christ. So we are called to represent and to present Christ to people. So guys, I want to encourage you all today. Be like the animals. Welcome Christ into your life. Welcome him into your home. When no one else wants to welcome him, you welcome him into your home. Especially at this Christmas time, you know, when uh, people is welcoming Santa and they are welcoming uh, all the festivities and all the food and all kind of fan, friends and family, I want you all, don't forget to welcome Jesus Christ into your home and let him find place and refuge in your home during this time. Second, I want you all to remember that we must carry Christ with us everywhere that we go. And the last thing, we must bring people to Christ. So yeah, so I think that's about it for today. Anything else you missed out, Sister Kim? Yeah, that's
I don't think so either. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed um, and were blessed by this little snippet today about the animals. So turn to your, your husband, your wife, your children at home, and for the first time in your life, tell them, hey, be like the dog. Hey, be like that cow. Hey, be like that lamb, that little lamb. Right? And I hope that you all continue to carry Christ and to bring people to Christ. So that's about it for today, guys. So tomorrow is the big day. So you're going to hear our final sermon tomorrow, our final message. Um, and I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope you all have a great day tomorrow. I know some of you all might see our video later on in the day. Um, but guys, all God's blessings to you um, tomorrow. Wake up early, get dressed, and guys, just get excited to go to church tomorrow. If you all uh, may not have a church to uh, attend for Christmas Day, um, I just want to uh, invite you all to our church, Love Ministries, 1070 SS Erin Road, Davie. We are starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock, guys. So, we are, you're welcome here. Bring your family, bring your friends. Call us 357 3541 or just message us right here on Facebook and we'll give you some more directions. And just as a little incentive to come and celebrate Christ, we actually have some breakfast prepared for everyone who's coming. So, guys, we're looking forward to spending time with you. We're looking forward to celebrating Jesus Christ tomorrow. And remember that the story of Christmas remains a story of hope. Okay, guys, so take care for now. Goodbye, we love you all very much. Goodbye.